Let's go ahead and introduce variables, expressions, and equations right now. Some variables, expressions, equations. So let's start by just defining Um, I guess we should first define a variable. And a variable is very simply a letter or a symbol representing a number. Usually an unknown number. So the most common variable is, of course, x. So people say x is something that I don't know, some number I don't know. Then that brings us to an expression. Then expression is a combination of variables and numbers through operations. These could be operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, so on and so forth. So some examples of expressions are, for example, 3x. That's an expression. We have a combination of the number 3 and the variable x, and the combination is through multiplication. Another example is 3x minus 2y. Here we have a combination of variables, numbers, and operations x squared would be another example in which we have x times x, combination of the variables x times itself. So all those are examples. Okay, and I can give you some examples of um, some expressions. Usually what we ask you to do is we ask you to evaluate an expression. Let me talk about that. So evaluate an expression. So, for example, say we have the expression x minus 2, and they want you to evaluate it when x equals 7. So the fact that we have the variable x there means that x could be anything in the world. It could be any number. However, they want you to figure out if x were to be 7, what would the expression equal? Well, if x were 7, then that would be 7 minus 2, which would be 5. So that would be your answer to that expression. Let's try another one. Let's go ahead and think about our order of operations again. So something where we have, so let's call that example A, let's go to example B. Say we have the expression y plus 6 divided by x. They want you to evaluate it when x is 6 and y is 18. So let's try that out. Well, wherever I see a y, I'm going to plug in an 18. Wherever I see an x, I'm going to plug in a 6. So according to the order of operations, by the way, I can rewrite this as 18 plus 6 divided by 6 with parentheses around the top, because it's the whole top divided by the bottom. So either one of those ways is fine, and according to the order of operations, um, I do parentheses first. So I'm going to do this part first. So 18 plus 6 is going to give me 24, and then 24 divided by 6 is going to give me 4. So that's a good example. Um, let's try another example. Let's say we have um, 25 minus z cubed plus x, and I want to evaluate when x equals 1 and z equals 2. Well, it's going to be 25 minus 2 cubed plus 1. Order of operations says I do exponents first, so it's 25 minus 8 plus 1. And then I go, sorry, addition and subtraction I do from left to right. So 25 minus 8, that would give me 17 plus 1, and that would give me 18. So that would be my final answer. Let's try one more. Say we have, that's um, 5 times f minus 32 over 9. Okay. This is actually the formula for converting degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. So let's say that we have the degree Fahrenheit were 41, and I wanted to figure out what degrees Celsius were according to this formula. Well, I'm just going to evaluate this expression. So it's going to be 5 times 
41 minus 32 divided by 9. Remember, according to the order of operations, we do parentheses first, so it's going to be 5 times 41 minus 32. 41 minus 32 is 9 divided by 9. Then multiplication and division, I'm just going to go left to right. So 5 times 9 is 45 divided by 9 is 5. Okay, so we know what expressions are now, and we know how to evaluate an expression. Now I'm going to talk about an equation. An equation and an expression are kind of different. An equation is specifically, has to have an equal sign. So we're just going to say it's expressions linked through an equal sign. So I can give you examples of equations. So equations would be things like x plus 7 equals 10. Here we have expression x plus 7, expression 10. There's an equal sign in the middle. Another example of an equation would be 3x plus y equals x minus 4. Things like that. Those would all be equations. Okay. And we do something similar to evaluating expressions with equations. We determine if numbers are solutions. So let's try the following. Determine, let's call it example A. If 8 is a solution to 3 times y minus 6 equals 6. So what I want to know by determining if 8 is a solution is if I plug in 8 into y, will both sides of my equation be the same? And what I mean by both sides is here's my equal sign, here's the left side of my equal sign, here's the right side of my equal sign. I want to know if both sides are the same when I plug in y equals to 8. So let's see. So I'm going to plug in 8 for y and then see if my left side equals my right side. So the left I can do one of two ways. I can do with the distributive property or I can do with the order of operations. So let's go ahead and do it with the order of operations. I'm going to do 8 minus 6 first and I get 3 times 8 minus 6 which is 2 and then 3 times 2 is 6. So here it actually did turn out that my left and my right side were the same. So my answer is going to be yes. 8 is a solution to the equation 3 times y minus 6 equals 6. So that's my answer right there. Let's try another one. Determine which number in the set 10, 6, and 8 by the way it could be more than one number is a solution to 5n plus 4 equals 84. So let's plug in 10, 6, and 8 for n, and let's see which one of those yields a true equation. So I'm going to let n equals 10, let n equals 6, and then let n equal 8. Let's try that out. So if n is 10, then the equation becomes 5 times 10 plus 4 equals 84. 5 times 10 is 50. 50 plus 4 is 54. 54 is not equal to 84, so not a solution. Now let's let n equal to 6. 5 times 6 plus 4 equals 84. 5 times 6 is 30. 30 plus 4 is 34. Since 34 is not equal to 84, then n equal to 6 is not a solution either. So let's see the last one. 5 times 8 plus 4 equals 84. 5 times 8 is 40 plus 4 equals 84. 44 is not equal to 84, so it actually turns out that none of these are a solution to the equation. And I actually didn't write this problem correctly. So in, let's try this one. 
which is a solution to the equation 5n plus 4 equals 34. So this equation is different. It has an equal sign of 34 now instead of 84. That was my mistake. So in this case, then, n equal to 6 would be a solution to that equation, right? So that's the one we tried that was a solution to the equation.